just wanted to quickly share what the Peak UI design feels like according to Adobe. So here we have this toolbar and uh, we want to move it around, but we have a bit of a problem. You see the top of the palette where we would usually grab to move around is occupied by these two buttons. One that expands the palette and one that closes it. So there's no empty area for us to use. For now, let's ignore the glaring issues with the ridiculously small target sizes and the fact that these two buttons with completely different functionalities are placed so close together. Especially this close button which irreversibly deletes our custom palette, forcing us to start from scratch. So your first thought would be to just grab the handle right below the buttons. It works on this tool palette, so why not here? Well, this palette is a little bit special because it's made out of multiple other properties. So if we try to do that here, we'll just split the palette into multiple smaller ones. Fair enough, but the problem still exists. How in the name of everything holy can we move this palette? <laughs> there are several solutions to this problem, each one dumber than the last, but let's go through all of them. Even though this looks like a group of properties, it is and it isn't. It might not be immediately obvious, but we can group things even further. So if we move this icon into this one, we now have a more distinct group. And if we repeat that with this icon, we now have one group that we can move around with a handle. Great. But the problem with the solution is that we now have these grouped collapsed windows that make things feel cluttered. So let's go back to the original group and see if there's a better solution. There is one, but it's not necessarily better. Here's what we can do. We can expand the palette, grab it from the top and move it to where we want it. This of course adds too many steps for something so simple. At this point, you might think this is getting ridiculous, but that's only because you haven't seen the final way to move the palette. You see these small buttons with their tiny target sizes? Well, there's another super tiny target right above the palette. If you click in just the right area, you'll be able to move the window. Nope. Not here. Nope. Yes. Come on, if that's not good user experience, I don't know what is. You could say that this is a unique issue and that all these solutions are a good enough compromise. Well, we could say that if Adobe itself hadn't already solved this problem. If we switch to Illustrator, you'll see what I mean. Here the palettes are big enough to offer not only a good UI, but also a good user experience. First off, the close and expand icons are far enough apart that we won't misclick and lose our custom palettes by accident. We can also move the palette without any issues because there's enough room at the top of the window. And finally, we can have whatever group solution we want without any side effects because we can always use the empty space at the top of the palette. I know, this is the pettiest video of all time, but in my defense, when you're a multi-billion dollar company designing software for designers, you can probably do better. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.